All right, and we are back! Back with some more Japanese conquest over here. Uh, very soon, since the world tension is kind of grown high at this point from all the various activities, uh, National Spain, of course everything I did, but um, Germany's going to start doing more and more things there. Go demand the Sudetenland. That'll be really interesting. And at some point, we will just start to pull the trigger a little bit more on some of our demands. Um, in fact, where else do we have a claim? Right over here. So, what's left of my Chinese front, which has shrunk down a wee bit? We are going to actually move in over here. They're not particularly aligned, so they shouldn't join any factions terribly quickly. We're going to take a look at... Do we have any idle units? No, everyone's currently assigned to something. That's not a huge number of units, but I think we'll still be able to push in okay. Hirohito, criticized for weak foreign policy. This just seems to be an event that happens, as far as I can tell. We can now, uh, not allow the, pop, the people to accuse Hirohito of cowardice. Minus 30 political power... Lose a little bit of national unity, a little bit of popularity of fascism has gone away, but we're still 100% fascist, so that's hardly a problem um, at all, at all, at all. We don't need to be worried about a navy. Uh, what we could do is potentially, um, for here, is move some planes over to a closer base. It's all been selected. What would be the closest airbase? I guess I can sort by distance at this point. And it only fits 200 planes. And then after that, it's 2,000 kilometers away. Wow. Well, tell you what. I will just move... Oops. Just the close air support... To that base. Get a little bit of air support in here. They prob I don't think they've got any planes at all, so this should be pretty okay. I think we're getting some attrition over here. You're not exercising anything? No. Oh, actually, that's China. China's units. You interwar artillery. Uh, and I would very much like to... I'm going to get the anti-tank component as well. All right. What? Is it not you? Oh, did I just lose my freaking war goals? Just like that, they just went away. Because the time went too long. Ha 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 ha! That's fine. It's hardly an important piece of land. Oh, that's really funny, though. I mean, I can still justify a war goal. Um, but if I'm going to do that, I'm going to wait longer. Because um, justifying takes time. It will take less time if we... Uh, once the world tension gets higher. So we'll, get, we'll still get some people to hang out at the People's Republic of China. Because at some point, we will declare war on them. And that's going to be okay. Anyway, we're still slowly recruiting infantry. We do have a lot of material. We could probably go and bump this up and pad out the UK front, or the USSR front. So let's go ahead and do that. I believe they're already set to move to that front, the purple front, which is the Russian front. It's not up to 40 units, which is pretty good. All right. Mm. You get that event when you lose your war goals. Oh, I see. So I would have had to press all the war goals before I get it. And then I wouldn't have gotten that. Oh, well. Hardly much of a problem. Uh, Alright, so we've got our super battleships down. And we're doing that. We'll grab that over there. That's going to be okay. And we're going to queue one up. We're going to let it finish the current run anyway. But this might be a good place to apply a little bit of our upgrades. 26,000 production costs. Sick. So we got 25 points. If I do this, our reliability will drop. Actually, it's not that bad. Now, Daniel is in here, right? Daniel, what is the, re the reliability of a regular unit affects their attrition multiplier, which means you have to, you know, replace equipment or whatever. With a ship, I'm assuming the entire ship doesn't just spontaneously combust if it gets an attrition tick. So it just lose a certain amount of hull damage and reliability offsets that a little bit. In which case, that shouldn't bother me too much. Yeah, you might hype. I think we're going to go with this variant. Unless um, Daniel says that, like, reliability is the most important thing in the universe for your navy. But as is, I think I'm just going to go for the upgraded gun, armor, and engine. 
do, do, do. Well, I'll wait a little bit because there's always a little bit of lag, so I'm gonna wait before I start building that. Plus, I mean, we don't have the, the naval factories right now anyway, so we can afford to just chillax. Name it the Daniel class. Mm, that's right, I forgot to turn down the music after the break. My bad. There you go. Pretty sure they take less damage from nutrition if they got higher reliability. Yeah, so I don't think I'm gonna be as bothered by that for the ships. So yeah, I'm going to go with the Yamato bigger gun engine armor. Oh, I thought I had enough for that. It's not, said, oh, it's 90 for this. Um, bigger gun and armor. I like it. So the Yamato class Mark I super heavy battleship. We'll add it to the queue. We are going to finish our destroyer run first, which is coming along pretty well. And that carrier as well. You know what? We're going to move the Yamato above the carrier. Like so. I believe we're getting some more... Yeah, we're getting some more naval slots in a moment, so that's going to be groovy. And yeah, don't worry about the resources. We're missing two uh, aluminum. Not worth trading for. Mm -hmm. It'd be nice if you could configure this pop-up to only pop up when you're losing, like... 8, or close to 8, because that's when, like, the sweet spot for trading for. Sudeten Crisis! What? Okay, 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 alright. Normally, this button says, no war today! So, Germany has demanded the Sudeten land for Czechoslovakia. Um, at the summit held in Munich, Germany, Britain, France, and Italy sought to find a diplomatic solution to the so-called Sudeten Crisis. A rift has formed between France and Britain. I mean, they're not allied. Right? And in fact, France is in a faction with Czechoslovakia. Britain accepting the German claims is reasonable, while France is not. The French have formed a new alliance with the Czechs and threatened Germany with war should its troops violate the Czechoslovakian border. It looks like there will be war. Or is it peace in our time? No, I think there, the, one of the pop-ups definitely says, like, no war for now. But it might be for a different option. Could have been for the Anschluss one, I don't know. Okay, but they're not actually at war yet. They have a war goal for Czechoslovakia to take Sudetenland and Eastern Sudetenland. They may not actually press that goal right now. But Czechoslovakia is whole. You remember when I said that Germany would, like, have an easier run with a, uh, with a broken uh, alliance? I don't know. It's slightly different. I'd be curious to see where they go next. Anyway, we finished our naval primacy, which gave us some more naval base dockyards, uh, which is good. Uh, we could get the discount on research here and research there. That's good. Research speed for the land doctrines. Ooh, we get a bunch of air bases. That's kind of nice. You know what? I think it's time to work up to our faction. Let's sever the Sino-German ties over here. And let's form up our faction and see what kind of stuff we can start messing with. And I'm going to go back. Am I... I'm going to go back to working on Siam over here. Try to make them more fascist. Maybe even coup them if need be. Modify government. I think it's going to be time for a chief of the army. And yeah, I'll take the offense bonus because I like attacking. You guys may have noticed. I have the super ship on infinite. That's okay. Actually, let me just go with two. It's still going to take forever. Oh my god! German Reich declared war in Czechoslovakia. And prepared defense is in place. Let's go ahead and grab the next level of land doctrines. In 1938, war has begun. Germany is at war with France and Czechoslovakia. We should probably go for the French Indonesian claims or something next. Computing machine, research time decrease. That's good. Get me decryption. That's going to be handy. I want to take a handful of these dudes. Start a new army over here. Put it in a new theater. Um, and call this one. I don't, I'm going to call this the French Front. France is in a war. That's kind of interesting. And y'all 
are going to go here. And my recruitment drive... Let me actually back out just a scooch here. You're going to be working towards this front instead. And... I'm going to modify... We've got some ground experience. We get a slightly more tanky division over here after all. Because that's one of the things we don't have. So light tank backed by a little bit of infantry. Not motorized, but that's going to be okay. And I'm going to train a trio of these guys. I don't know. We'll get you to drop over there. And then join this front. Okay. You know what? I will deploy you guys because I'm going to enable um, training on the French front. You guys can exercise when you get there. Infantry equipment is now finally running low. And in 39, we can get the level 2. So we're not quite there yet. Trim that back a little bit more. Okay. That's very interesting. Now we're going to form our own faction. People really wanted that early on, and we're going to look into that as again. Fighter focus, air innovations... Development in Australia, USSR, anti-fascist diplomacy. Fair enough. I guess the Chinese front, you guys, you know what? Can join that. Now we're going to wait until France actually starts to look like they're in trouble before we make a move here. Mm, let's have some of these guys make a new group. And my Marines, we're going to have some jobs for you now. First, why don't you guys just redeploy it over there? And you can stop training. You're not going to get any more experience. Actually, since we're running low on equipment, we're going to stop more training over here as well. Although this front's pretty green because I did rush them out, so they can keep working it. Yeah, I know we can demand land from France. And that's probably what we're going to do. That's why, um, yeah, sever Sino-German ties, and then we're going to found our faction, then we're going to demand French Indonesia. I assume they'll get an event, they'll have a choice, and I assume if they say no, then I'll have a claim on them. Potentially even a war goal. German Reich declared war from Luxembourg. Italy joins the Axis. Shit's going down, yo. Extra research slot. Unknown focus? Really? Oh, decryption's too low to even find that out. Interesting. You can see some combat is happening. We don't have any intel. Looks like this front is mostly holding, because there's going to be fortifications on both sides, so it's pretty static. 78% world tension. Hey, I'm no longer the number one contributor to world tension. It doesn't matter at this point. Now... We can just ignore world tension because it's basically gone Super Saiyan. Indochina, not Indonesia. I know, I'm going to say that every goddamn time. Every time. It's going to be Indonesia. Except not. But every time I'm going to say Indonesia. Because I'm not used to saying Indochina. It's not a word that comes up very often. Oh, i got to remember this little guy here. Do do do. What? Officers revolt in the Soviet Union. Parts of the Soviet High Command have risen in revolt against the leadership of Joseph Stalin. It is unclear exactly what has caused this uprising, but does not seem to be a particularly well-planned effort to seize power. Soviet political situation may not be as they projected the outside world. Socialist power structure is unattainable. Russia declares war on the Soviet Union.
Huh. Oh, I wasn't paused. I mean, we don't have a claim on them yet. We could flip things around here. I suspect the Soviet Union will be able to mop this up. But anything that slows them down is nice. I don't think it's the time to strike the Soviet Union. But it's awfully good news. Why is Russia's capital Stalingrad? Well, I mean, this Russia, and then the Soviet Union's capital is Moscow. That's just where the, the revolution started. Wow. And what are you? You're non-aligned. Fascinating. Really fascinating. Alright, we're on cusp of 39. I'm going to get started in Weapons 2 research, even though it's ahead of time. And yeah, we're just going to chill here. And the French Front is the only place that's allowed to exercise right now, because they do have some green troops, and I would like them to not be green. Russia owns most of the oil. Oh, that's a good point. Oil over here. Okay, so some of it sits outside, but there's a fair amount in there. I'm not sure how much that would affect us. I'd still like to make a run at Iran. But it's just its too far for us. I guess one thing we can do is we can get our navy. Okay, they're all in the same place. So the non-subs, I'm going to merge you guys up together. And you're going to be on patrol in... I think the Gulf of Thailand, the South China Sea, and perhaps the East China Sea. Mostly sort of blockade stuff as opposed to home defense. And I think that's going to be alright. And then the submarines, you're going to be on convoy rating in the Straits of Malacca, South China Sea. And... Bay of Bengal. What was that? That was a tip. Orca Commander! Send volunteers to Russia. Maybe all of them. <laughs> uh, that's interesting. I mean, I'd probably just get trounced. But that is very interesting. Probably send some more uh, Marines just to get more exercise. Are you guys? Oh yeah, you don't have an assignment. Right? If we grab like six of these dudes, because that's how many we can send. Make a new one. Sure. Oh, the Trickster's actually kind of handy. I'll grab you. Yeah, people want it. Let's do it. Send volunteers. Uh, I believe it's that one. It's hard to tell. Like, it's only got the commander name and the color, which seems to be correct. So as I could click here, confirm, yeah. She switch you Tanaka or whatever. So again, so that might, maybe it would be nice to get a little something that's easier to tell what the composition of this group is. So this is going to be our cap. We'll send there. Again, it'll generate a bit of threat, but we're, we're assuming that threat is a non-issue anymore. These marine groups, I'm going to split them in half, create a new marine division. I guess I can pause at this point. That's okay. Luxembourg, join the Allies. Russia will allow our volunteers. Excellent. Assign you. And then we are going to plan a naval invasion from here to this port. And another naval invasion from here. Oh, single invasion from a single port. Oh, okay. Um, I guess from here to down there. Again, we hopefully won't actually need to do this, because hopefully they'll just instantly surrender. Also, um, let's grab, say, you two over here, create a new group. You don't have a front. So now I'm going to... Oh, pause, because there's going to be an event fired from that. Your job will be to take that. And we'll give you some general. And this group here can get a better general. Oops, cancel. You're already assigned. Are you? Oh, yeah, you're assigned to the, um, the volunteers. It doesn't show them as being assigned here, which is kind of a little... It's a bug, Daniel. 
Doesn't show the general as being assigned when they're part of a volunteer group that's still moving. You do get the warning, though, which is nice. All right, sever Sino-German ties. There'll be an event there. Germany has been asked to remove their advisors from China. Of course, China, I sort of own most of them. Might That might be the... Um, yeah, so it's actually going to nerf one of my puppets, unfortunately, but that's it. And we're going to found our own faction. Boom. We're going to do it because it's cool. Not necessarily because it's better. We don't know. But it is going to be cooler. I'm going to tell my Marines that, you know, when the war starts, you guys go ahead and execute your plan right away. Uh, the French front over here needs some sort of destination. And I think it's mostly going to involve making a run for... Germany recalled their advisors. All right. I don't really care what they did, actually. I suppose we're just going to set the front line to be like... Oh, no. The offensive line, I mean. To something like that. And the same thing. When the... Uh, you're no longer green. Well, you've got some greens, but they'll get over it pretty quick. We're going to tell you to move forward once things start. Okay. We've got planes and reserves. That's nice to see. We'll have to assign some planes. Oh, we've got an airbase over here. Only 200 planes. God. Yeah, that's really rough. So this air zone, assign as much as we can. And rebase and be like, no, it's too much. And how's the range? Minus 92%. That's pretty bad. So what we're going to do... Uh, can I not select the airbase from here? That's a little bit annoying. I do have some ships nearby, so they could do some support from there. But there we go. This air wing here. We're going to select you, split you in half... And then... How come this is... Oh, there it is. Still quite far. Wow. We're going to take one half of you and redeploy you over there. <laughs> the range is still going to suck. I could, I could do some, some jobs for my things. But the thing is, France has got one airfield, and we're going to take it right near the start of the war. So I think we're going to be fine there. Invite Russia to your faction. Well, we don't we don't have the faction yet. We're founding our faction still. you got to wait for that to finish. I... We're still transferring the forces. When are they going to get there? 27th of November. So five more days. There's no way Russia stays alive. I have no units assigned to my second invasion? No. Yeah, there's a weird... There's a weird selection thing that happens sometimes with these Marines. Okay, first of all, i got to color code my Marine divisions to be a little bit more obvious. You're going to be Team Red. Congratulations. My volunteers have arrived. Team Red has no orders, so yeah, you're assigned there. Naval invasion capacity exceeded. Oh! Okay! So I can only have 10 dudes doing invasions right now, period. Not, I thought it was 10 in one invasion. It's 10 total. All right, so group red over here. I have three of you dudes. Add you there. So my other marine group, we don't need this many marines. At least not right now. When do we get the next naval invasion tech? That does change things a little bit more than expected. So this is 1940, right? Yeah, 1940 I can get the next level, which gives us 40! That's plus 10, so that brought us 10. This will give us a total of 40 that we can do simultaneously. That's very interesting. So these extra Marines, I'm just going to have them join the French front as just regular fighters. Hmm. Okay, my Russian volunteers. Pause, 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 pause. Where do we focus our attention? Let's help clear out this little area first. There's actually some victory points. There's some things going on. Not fallback line. No, not that. This. And do that. And once you get there, just execute right away. I'm sure it's going to be fine. We may not even need you to be there, but give it a go. Could you imagine if we declared on the Soviets right now? 
Well, we're going to see. We're going to try to get a feel for what's going on in Russia first. I don't think... They don't seem to have enough troops, like... Eh... No, they're going to get killed. Obviously, they're going to get killed. These maroons are good at pushing rivers. That's a good point, too. That is a very good point. And I did set up this little group here. And you guys will go as soon as... If this war starts. So, we're going to have to make an interesting decision. Because we could swing around to the northern expansion and get a war goal against the Soviet Union. I don't think we're actually ready to fight the Soviet Union. I think that would keep us busy for an eternity. But I would very much look forward to taking this over here. How's France doing it? Nothing has happened yet. Now, Luxembourg did fall. Well, no, actually. Luxembourg still exists? I thought it capitulated. God damn it, Germany. Kick France's ass! Okay, they're kicking Czechoslovakia's ass first. And Italy's in here, too. I don't see any troops down there, which is odd. But there must be. I just don't have vision. You tell them to execute their plan before they're going to attack. Do you still get the planning bonus? Yeah, because I don't think the planning bonus progression stops. I'm pretty sure they're still... Yeah, we actually just saw their points go up. So they're plan they still get that. Czechoslovakia has capitulated. Gone to exile. Main forces have capitulated German Reich, which is now in control of their home area. Struggling in Czechoslovakia was only a small part of the conflict. The war between German Reich and what remains of the French Entente Alliance continues elsewhere. All right, so now Germany's only in a war. Luxembourg. Okay, Germany's fighting the UK and everyone, too. I'm assuming Luxembourg must have had its independence guaranteed by the UK. So World War II has actually properly started at this point. Interesting to note that the Netherlands is still not being guaranteed. And we're almost in 39. So what does that mean for us? It means we get the next level of construction technology. Meanwhile, we are constructing military factories. And how's our troops doing in Russia? Okay, they are now idle. So, I think I'm going to set up a short front line over here. With the intention of pushing an offensive line to here. We'll come back to you in a sec. Huh. Some of the allies a while ago. So I'm going to ask France for this stuff, and if they say no, I'm going to declare war on them. Which should only lead me to be at war with France and Czechoslovakia, whatever's left of it. Meanwhile, Siam, we're still trying to get you to be slightly more fascist. We'll probably get you to around 50% and then stage a coup. I don't know, we may not need it, especially there is that national decision, which we are... After we do this, we can either befriend them or pressure them. I don't know what this does, this ultimatum. This ultimato. Alright, let me hold off on this. We'll just ultimatum them, and maybe it'll instantly puppet them. I'd have to look up the, uh, the event. I bet you we can save our political influence. Who else might we want to influence? These, these guys aren't particularly relevant. Well, they're full of communists. These guys are non-aligned, but, you know, I can just conquer them or something. Turkey. You are mostly democratic. Iran has oil. So does Iraq. I 
and Iraq's already partially fascist. That's probably the way to go, and ensures that we've got someone who can ship oil. But the problem is, the oil shipments will all get sunk. I mean, not necessarily. Assuming Germany's doing its job okay, the British Navy will be partially occupied. Venezuela... Yeah.